morning now to Fano. So just got here to the gym and just gonna go in and do a full body workout. I'm just gonna show you all what I've been doing. Um, it's a full body workout and I do this um, type of training three times a week. Um, and that's it. So all of my other days um, I can utilize by putting that time into other things. But I feel that this type of training is, um, my body's responding well to it. So take what you can from it. And um, yeah, big shout out to uh, Harrison Hatta for um, putting this little program together for me. Maudiore te whanau. What's interesting about fear and excuses is if you reverse engineer them backward to the seed of where it's coming from, it means that a stunning majority of the people in this audience are actually tied up in caring about somebody else's point of view on them. And I'm really fascinated by that. Fear's holding you back, you know what you wanna do. The only reason you're not doing is because you're scared of doing what you actually wanna do. So what are you scared of, failing? Um, not failing, but um, still being at the same place when my friends are at the next level. Huge mistake. You don't want the same thing your friends want. So why do you care what they have? Number one mistake so many people make is they care about what other people have. I don't care what anybody has. If I have more, if I have less, it doesn't matter. I worry about myself. The fact that you're worrying about other people's accomplishments is already a losing formula. You need to get rid of that first, then you can focus on yourself. I would argue that well more than 50% of the people in this audience are here today because they worry about the way they would be judged by one and or two family members in their inner seven, eight people circle. If you're not feeling it, find new friends. I'm being dead serious about this. This one is real big for me. Who you hang out with is a huge deal. And again, these are all tried and true things, right? We've heard the you're the whatever of the five friends you spent, like that's real. Add one new winner friend. Like, you know what I mean? Add one new winner friend and cut one loser friend. Like, yeah, I know he's been your boy since fourth grade, but he sits at home and smokes weed and plays 2K all day. Like, you can only love him so much. And to me, that is the most fascinating thing that's happening as I'm going through my journey, which is, oh, the reason I am capable and, and have the luxury of standing up here is that my parents parented me in a way that gave me so much self-esteem while respect. When I was nine years old and opened the door for an elderly woman at a McDonald's, she reacted as if I won the Nobel Peace Prize. Good mom. What my mom did was super smart. She overreacted on everything that I was doing that was a good human trait. My mom built huge self-esteem in me and I feel like the biggest reason I am who I am today to everybody is because I feel so guilty and so grateful for what she did for me that I want to do it for everybody else, which is guess what?